Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I just wanted to say before we get into this video, thank you for 66 followers. Let's try to get the 10% of you guys subscribed that watch my videos. Let's try to get the 10% and I know we can do it. Let's try to get 70 followers and I'll see you guys in the video. Bye guys. Peace. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of What If Kofi is going to be repaired. And this is part 5. Um, let's try to get 10 likes. And yeah guys, thank you so much for 66 followers guys. It means so much. Let's try to get to 70. And yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy. And yeah, we left off last time when Cell was about to kill Gohan with the finger beam. The second before... Cell shoots the finger beam. Goku appears and knocks Cell away with a flick. This sending Cell hundreds of miles away and and then circles the earth and, and is about to hit into Goku. Goku catches Cell by the face and slams into the floor, making a giant crater. This getting Cell very damaged, but Cell uses his regeneration and regenerates and gets a big Zenkai. This giving Cell a 50 times, I mean a 50% increase. This is actually intriguing Goku. Now Goku was using 100% of the base form right there, and this is where they start battling. Now Cell is getting very you know, how do we say it? Excited. And you'll see why I said that Cell wasn't intrigued with them. Because he was intrigued, but he wanted to train because he saw that he was strong, that they were stronger than him. So he used that excuse. Cell starts to power up after Goku and him start to clash and they're evenly matched. Cell starts to power up and he starts to emit a golden like aura. This aura is Golden Cell. Golden Cell starts to pummel the living crap out of Goku. Goku goes into Super Saiyan, nothing matching him. Goku goes into Super Saiyan 2, 3, nothing. Goku goes into Super Saiyan God for the first time ever. And this is where they're pretty evenly matched. Remember, this cell has this Goku's DNA, so this is a very, very, very strong battle. They're going battle, they're going back and forward, back and forward. They're going hit to hit, clash for clash. They're emitting so much power that the earth is shaking. The continent is getting pummeled by their power alone. And this is where we're gonna say Goku starts to get annoyed and starts to clear his mind. For the first time ever, he starts to try to use this form. We're gonna say this is his own version of Ultra Instinct. This version of Ultra Instinct has every key combined into it. And this is Omni Key, God Key, Angel Key, Super Saiyan Blue Key, <laughs> Evolution Key, everything. It has every key that is known. And this makes into one. This makes Omni. This makes Ultra Omni Goku. I don't know. It's kind of a. It's kind of a stupid name, but we're gonna roll with it. This Goku can only stand in this form for a mere ten seconds. Goku uses a super Kamehameha. Meha, I mean, eh. Goku goes for a mean punch in the face, knocking Cell out, and then throws him up in the air and shoots a Kamehameha wave and kill, obliterating Cell. This shaking the whole world while this is happening, and Cell is gone. Now, we're gonna say that the people that were watching um, the Cell games in original with Mr. Satan and all that saw that Goku beat him, um, at Mist um, beat Cell, and they give Goku the prize money, not Mr. Satan. And Goku gets a new town called Goku City and starts to live in there. Chi Chi is very happy, so he she allows Goku to train and do all that stuff, and Gohan can train. And we're gonna say that Gohan really likes to fight in this scenario because 
he's never he's never been in a bad situation and first time he was ever in a bad situation his dad was there to help him so he's not super scared anymore he's not one of those scaredy cats anymore i think one of the biggest reasons why gohan was so scared in the namek arc was because he was scared that goku wasn't going to be there in time and once goku got there he was very very like i don't know so we're gonna go back to the story so after that they celebrate for seven years I mean, they don't celebrate for seven years. They go back to Bulma's house and they celebrate. And this is where seven years pass. We're going to say that Goku's pow- We're going to go for a power level scaling. Goku's first, then it's Gohan. Then it's Vegeta. Then it's Piccolo. Then it's Krillin, Tien, Yamcha. You know. And Goten and Trunks- in this scenario, Goten is hundreds of times stronger than Trunks. Only for the one reason that Goku- Gohan- I mean, Goten is going to be born with God of Destruction Key. So, Goten is way stronger than Trunks. And we're gonna say Trunks, he's gonna be born with God Key. Just like Vegeta. I don't remember if I made Vegeta have God Key in this story, but I'm just gonna say he does. So, yeah. Now, after the seven year time skip, Vegeta- I mean, Gohan- Gohan still goes to school and meets up with Videl and still the Super- Super Man- I mean, um, Sa Saiyan Man. They start to have, like, friendship with each other, and Goten- I mean, Gohan trains. Videl and Goku actually helps out with that, and they go to um, trains with them as well. And I'm gonna say that Goku trains Goten because he sees a lot of potential in Goten, so he trains Goten, and he he knows everything about the God of Destructions, and he sees that Goten has the potential of being a God of Destruction. So Goten is trained by Goku. Now, we're gonna go into the Boo Saga. So, the seven- I don't remember what tournament it was, but we're just gonna say the tournament. <laughs> the World Tournament, and this is where Sh Shin and Kabito- Kabito, my bad. <laughs> they come into the arc, and- what? Okay, so the original battles are gonna be the exact same. Goten wins the Child Division. And we're going to say that the second that Goten, Gohan gets um, absorbed, like his key gets absorbed by the thing by the two minions. I don't remember their names. I think it was Yakon in some- no, it wasn't Yakon. It was- okay, they, they don't really matter, but after that- they go back to, um, Blue, I meant Bobbity, and Deborah, and this container is filled, 100% of Boo, only because Gohan is so sh much stronger than he was in canon. This Gohan is hundreds of times stronger than the original time canon Gohan. And this Gohan is probably around the same strength as 75% Beerus. That is how strong Go Gohan is. Yeah, he's really strong. Goku is about... 100 viruses. <laughs> That's how strong Goku is. So yeah, there's no comparison on Goku and Vegeta. So when that happens, Vegeta it just gets knocked out by one punch. So... This is where I'm going to be ending this story, guys. We're going to be doing part 6 at 10 likes. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to like and subscribe. Please, let's get to 70 followers before the end of this week. And I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys. Hope you all did enjoy. Bye. Peace.